I think uh, So Works Stab in the Drama is like my one of my favorite albums of all time. Um, since getting Spotify, I've listened to it probably three billion times. I don't know, probably not three billion exact, but three billion pretty close. So today I was gonna get a couch, but then I decided I don't want to go all the way to IKEA and get a couch by myself. So I didn't go get one. <laughs> More of the story is I didn't go get a couch, <laughs> which is really stupid because I really need a couch because I really need down here. Man, what the hell? Jeez, I really need a lounge down here. You know what I mean? Not just that stupid chair. Like this is like as bachelor pad as it gets. You know what I mean? Like kind of dumb. I do need to throw those boxes away. I should probably do it today. Um, yesterday I made macaroni and cheese, ate fried chicken, and played Skyrim. Um, today I'm gonna make macaroni and cheese, not eat fried chicken, and play Skyrim. Um, I really want my, uh, I, well, first of all, there's a company called Strictly 7, and they build custom guitars, and, um, I linked up with them, and I'm now building a custom guitar through them. It's pretty badass. It's like a, a big old eight string uh, with a short neck, though. Well, for eight strings, it's a short neck because I like smaller guitars. But I wanted an eight string. I think I've talked about this before. But I wanted an eight so I can play like heavier stuff and not heavy stuff at the same time. <sighs> Plus, I just want a new guitar, and it's gonna sound awesome. I got some really badass pickups in it too. You know, how much cereal do I have left in this? That's like an... Why didn't I just make another bowl? So stupid. So stupid. Um, see, I don't get to have these silly recycling things. Here's, <laughs> here's my recycling. And then here's my garbage. And this is my clean kitchen. Pretty G. Not really. Um... There's actually nothing G about this kitchen. Literally nothing. Not one G thing about this kitchen. Yep, not one G thing. Um, there's actually not one really G thing about my house. Um, other than the fact that it's like my house, which is pretty G, but not G, because it's not really that G. Um, what else was I going to say? Oh yeah, big old eight string. I don't know. I just really want to make music with a guitar and drums. And I don't really want to make... I don't know what I want to make. I just want to make stuff. I'm in a... I don't know, you probably sick of me moping around the internet. But I'm just in a weird spot, guys. I gotta get this ball rolling. I don't know... I'm, I'm like... I'm like a gender-confused artist. I don't know what I want to make. I never know what I want to make. There's no... I don't know, I just get so sick of doing this, like, when I stay in, like, one genre for, like, more than, like, six months, I just, like, hate it. Hate it. Want to do something else. And I probably will do that forever, which is a curse. Or a blessing. Depends on how it goes. Because I haven't really been, like, a professional musician, producer, artist that long. Like, a year and a half? Yeah. It's not that long at all. And in that year and a half, I don't have any freaking... I have one EP that's like a, a year and a half old. It really pissing me off. <sighs> Look, I did this nice thing where I like put my goldfish in this. I know. Isn't this lame that this is my life now? Like this is exciting to me. The fact that I got to put this goldfish in this thing. It's so lame. But so good. It's so good. I'm really hungry. I have two options. I can go to the restaurant by my house called Pig and Whistle. I really like their food and they have great margaritas. I'll probably call a friend, see if they, they want to go. But I don't really want to. I don't really want to do anything. You know when you're kind of down and just don't want to do anything? Don't want to do anything. I don't want to make music. I don't want to play Diablo. All I want to do is eat goldfish and lay on the floor.
So let's make some macaroni and cheese. We're gonna make two boxes because one box isn't enough. In two boxes, you can only save it for later. In that whole like refrigerated, warmed up with a microwave macaroni and cheese, always tastes different than how you made it. It's not a bad different either. It's like a, it's not like a better different. But it's not a bad different. It's just different. Um. Uh, the butter. I never measure it out too. I like using, I always end up using more butter than milk because I don't, it's like a, more butter than usual and less milk than you're supposed to. That's how I make macaroni and cheese. I think it's pretty baller. So how you make macaroni and cheese is you get your pan and you fill it up with water. Yeah, you're watching. I'm not going to make you guys watch water boil. Here's my favorite shot glass. It has Boris on it. I don't actually take shots. I think it's kind of weird. Especially when I'm by myself. But when I make a drink, I don't want to add too much, too little. You just want to use the right amount. So you put a shot in. You know what I mean? Like yesterday, I had a... Oh, man, I put way too much water in that. Yesterday, I had a drink for America. I had a red vodka crayon. And you put the, the heat on high and you just wait for hours. You just wait for hours until it's done. Um, until you, you're done waiting for those hours, it's always good to like eat goldfish. It's funny because I don't even like cheese. Yet I'm like eating cheese, fish, and macaroni and cheese. You know, it's really weird. My nose. So goldfish is cheddar cheese. But what is this? It just says macaroni and cheese dinner. He's gonna see what kind of cheese. Cheese sauce. See, it just says cheese sauce. It doesn't even say what kind of cheese it is. Isn't every, every cheese a different kind of cheese? That's what I thought. I guess not. I guess there's a new, a new style of cheese out. It's called cheese sauce. Kraft cheese. Oh, maybe that's it. It's not called, you don't go to a restaurant and be like, can I have some Kraft cheese? So I played Don God yesterday. And I played the whole vampire thing. And um, it's pretty cool so far. Not even got a front about it. Like my hat rack? Me too. Ah, it was free. Um, sorry, I was looking at my phone. What was something I wanted to talk about with these phones, the iPhones? They are so much cooler when you don't have any cases on them. They're so sleek and little and cute. Also, when you have the 4S and you put those little the, the scr scratch thing on them, it doesn't even look as good. It's like, why did I even get the 4S? It doesn't even have a retina display when you put the little thing on it. So I'm just going to rock like this. And if I break it, I'll just wait till the 5 comes out. That's what everyone says. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, now I'm going to try the Dawn Guard campaign. Because I saved right before and I saved right after. So as long as I remember where I saved, I should be good. Right? Right? Um. Man, I need to get like a stereo down here. So I can listen to soil work. You know what, Microsoft? You gotta like... I wish like Microsoft would just like open its doors. Because no one wants to use the freaking Zoom app or Last.fm. Both are terrible things. They should just get Spotify integration. Because that would be badass. Wouldn't it? I'm, my aunt said she, she would uh, sell me a surround sound thing. So I might get surround sound. Oh, surround sound on Skyrim would be badass. You know, maybe the fact that I'm having an off week isn't so bad. Like, maybe being, like, a little down and a little bored isn't such a bad thing. Like, maybe I should just take a week and just play Skyrim for a whole week. You know what I mean? There's nothing wrong with that. <sighs> what am I talking about? So, yeah. Vampire Lord was cool, but now I'm going to try the Dawn Guard. So, yeah, I got, like, there's my my Vampire Lord. And then here's the, the save right before you choose. So it's pretty cool. I'm just gonna 55 is um the pre one and then so many levels I gained. Did I just gain two? I didn't gain any. 
Daysprung Canyon. Yeah, these are a bunch of saves, so I can definitely go back. Because I have, like, two characters, but I don't want to, like, play as two characters. I want to play as one, you know what I mean? Do epic things. So, I'm going to load up. Oh, yeah, I think I lost. No, I didn't lose my other character. I had, like, a like a wizard guy that I lost. Um, so, I'm going to try the Dawn Guard campaign, which, I don't know, because I was trying to look up perks between which was cool, or being a Dawn Guard or a Vampire Lord. And, like, Vampire Lord looks like the only one that you actually get anything out of it. You know what I mean? Like, a cross the crossbow sucks. It's, like, the worst weapon in the game. It, it, like, does decent damage, but it takes forever. It's super slow. It doesn't, it doesn't really feel that cool when you shoot something. It just, it's just, like, like having a gun or something. Bow and arrow is way more badass. Um, the only thing I like about vampires is it, your sneak is, like, 50% increased, which is super badass. Um... Feeding is cool. Um, I'm not really past the vampire campaign, so don't give it away, but I'm pretty sure at the end you turn the sun around so you can just stay outside all day and don't get those little negative effects, which would be sick because that's like, the worst thing about being a vampire. It's just like having to wait for night. But then again, it's like, oh yeah, fire kind of sucks, but how often do you get blazed upon fire? Like um, dragons, I guess, but you can drain health at the same time, so it's like the same thing. Both of them are... Both of them are like kind of cheap, but yeah, this is the cool um, Dawn Guard. Like, look at those sick dogs. Like, this is more my style, being a vampire lord. But whatever. People are eating these people. One of these guys looks really cool. I'm trying. To... They all look pretty cool, though. Like. They have like these weird noses and stuff. And she's kind of a babe. Like, I, I have kind of a Skyrim crush on her. Look at her eyes. Just gaze into those creepy, evil eyes. Anyways, I'm gonna play as Dongard for a while and see if I like it or not. If it's lame, I'm gonna probably stop be a sick vampire lord. But I heard you get an armored troll, and I killed one in the vampire thing. That's pretty sick. All right, later.